as far as box model goes, everything, every HTML element, for example, here's an element, on a page you can think of as a box. It's all contained inside of a box. To look at that, let's go back and add those style tags. So let's talk to the H1 again. And then we'll give it a background color. Let's change that to blue. And we go look at it, you can see that it lives basically inside of a box. Even though I gave it a background color, it didn't just go around the text, it went the whole thing. So it lives inside of a box. Now the content, the CSS introduction text is the content. Between the border and the content, there is space. So if you look at this, the border would be the edge where the yellow stops. And then you have the border itself. In fact, let's add a border to this just so you can see it. One pixel solid black. When we save that, you can see you've got that border on the edge. So the space between the content and the border is called the padding. So we can actually increase padding on this as well, just so you can see it. Padding, I'm going to add 10 pixels. And when I save that, you'll notice the space in between the border and the text increases. That's the padding. The space on the outside of the border is called the margin. So if we go in here and add some margin as well, 20 pixels, and I save that, you can see it didn't increase the space inside the yellow, but it increased the space around it. So if we add one more zero, you'll see this really affects it. There's 200 pixels of margin all the way around it now. So that's the box model.